Welcome to Sergey's Chemistry. Today we're looking at test for iron-3 ions. First is sodium hydroxide test. Transitional hydroxides are normally not soluble and they are colored. So this is the base for many of the tests. I'm using iron-3 chloride to demonstrate the test and as a control nickel-2 sulfate. Tests are pretty sensitive, so I can dilute my solution with distilled water about 20-50 times to appreciate the colors better. Now sodium hydroxide. Precipitate is supposed to be formed. First for nickel. We expect something to happen. Yes, pale green precipitate. And now for iron-3, our analytical test, positive result for iron-3, brown gelatinous precipitate of iron-3 hydroxide. We can really solve it if we add acid to iron-3 hydroxide. Let's take sulfuric acid and see. First start with nickel. Nickel-2 hydroxide readily redissolves in the acid. And here, in case of iron-3, we have to wait a little bit, but as well we have just yellow solution back on additional acid. The same thing on microscale. Iron-3, chloride and sodium hydroxide. Brown gelatinous precipitate, which Redissolves on addition of an acid. Typical iron 3 hydroxide. Now let's look at another test potassium ferrocyanide. Many tests of transition metal are based on the ability to form complexes with ligands. Ferrocyanide is one of ligands which form iron-3, iron-2 richly colored complex. Let's look what happened on addition to nickel. Nothing special. Uh, again, uh, green precipitate. But in case of iron-3, Prussian blue iron 3 iron 2 complex is formed. Rich blue color is because of electron exchange be between iron 3 and iron 2 ions. Same thing on micro scale. It's not yet mixed, I have to help it. And you can see the small pieces of Prussian blue precipitate. That's an enlarged picture. Okay, for the next one. Potassium theocyanate. Again, ligand to form complexes of transition metal ions. And we expect characteristic color for iron-3 complex. Nickel again is used for control. Potassium theocyanate. Adding to nickel ions, nothing happens. Blood red precipitate in case of iron-3. Of iron-3 theocyanate. Same on the micro scale. And at high concentrations. Let's run through it again. Test for iron 3, sodium hydroxide, gelatinous brown precipitate, potassium ferrocyanide, Russian blue precipitate, and theocyanate, blood red precipitate. Sodium hydroxide. Gelatinous brown precipitate, potassium 
ferrocyanide-hexocyanoferrate, Russian blue precipitate, and potassium thiocyanate, blood red precipitate. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. See you again. Bye.